Welcome to today's Research Business Daily Report, where we have news about a major research agency acquisition, plus an announcement from RFL Communications about a brand new industry initiative, and remarks from Unilever about its entirely new attitude towards collection of insights. We're sponsored today and this week by Instantly, the world's largest audience and insights platform providing researchers with on-demand access to consumers and insight tools to make faster, better decisions. I spend a lot of time on LinkedIn, and late last week, I noticed that Kristen Luck's LinkedIn page has changed. Needless to say, I wondered why, and I was unable to reach Kristen herself. But over the weekend, I heard from my industry contacts that an announcement is coming this week about Decipher Incorporated, where Kristen has been president and CMO since 2007, being sold to Focus Vision. Now, Kristen Luck is one of the research industry's best known, most respected, and followed executives, as well as an important spokesperson on several different avenues. But her LinkedIn page now describes her as consultant to Decipher. I'm sure we'll all know more soon about exactly what's going on. But for now, let's look at the acquisition that Focus Vision, the dominant provider of online and offline focus group services, is acquiring. It is one of the fastest growing research companies. And this is a big strategic step for Focus Vision. But assuming that Kristen Luck is no longer involved at Decipher, can the agency maintain its breathtaking growth rate? over the last five or six years? And will someone need to step into the high profile role she has played and the sales role she has played so prominently and effectively? Last week, we at RFL Communications emailed several hundred executives about our new RFL Market Research Toolbox Report initiative. Now, this is our latest effort to help the research industry take a major step forward by publishing a booklet that explains the most appropriate situations for all traditional and what I'll call 21st century research tools and techniques for any research project. In other words, when, for example, should you use any of the 50 research options that we've kind of identified and that are available for every research project. For instance, when do you use telephone research? When do you use a focus group? How about quant or qual mobile research? How about neuroscience or gamification? Those are only a few that I can mention here out of the 50 because there are so many potential choices. And yet, the dilemma is, the continuing emergence of new tools and techniques has made these basic information options impossible for any one researcher to fully understand. We're going to make all that information accessible, we think, with the help of the industry's best and brightest. If you would like to know more, including how you can contribute to our initiative, please email rflbob at gmail.com and I will send you a personal invitation by the way, the RFL Market Research Toolbox Report will acknowledge contributors in every category. And there is no limit to the research tools and techniques that any of you out there can help us informationally with. Next, Unilever Senior Vice President of Consumer and Market Insights Stan Sander Nathan appeared on Research Live last week, briefing the research industry, I thought, with a fascinating and startling new place for insights at Unilever. It will affect the insights department and every other person inside the Unilever organization and also its agency vendors. But let Stan explain it for himself. The reason why I believe it is going to evolve and evolve rapidly is because data is becoming commodity. And uh, you can get data from multiple sources. You don't need to have uh, one partner who goes out and collects data for you on a global basis. So global scale is not necessarily a big competitive edge, whether it is for agencies or for clients. Global scale is becoming sometimes a questionable competitive edge. Yeah? Uh, but what is going to become a competitive edge is thoughtware. What can you do with the data? How can you add value to the data so that it inspires and provokes transformational action? And that's where the real joy uh, is going to be. 
this is going to require agencies to probably start thinking in terms of thinking beyond project silos, but thinking more in terms of longer term strategic relationships with, with uh, clients. Uh, if you really hunker down and think in terms of project silos, then the relationship will become transactional over a period of time. And transactional relationships really don't add uh, value to the client or margins to the agencies. And I almost visualize uh, a day when uh, the research agencies would actually end up becoming marketing consultants uh, and they're joined at the hips of the client uh, solving a problem and working on a brand on an ongoing basis as opposed to you know for this particular task let me use this agency for that particular task let me use another agency you might still end up doing that but you still need a bunch of people who will straddle across all the different work pieces of work that have been done and come and tell a holistic story insights should not be the responsibility of any one function it should not be the responsibility of the insights functions alone it should be a broader organizational responsibility because insights can come from anywhere so you need an organization where everybody has heightened five senses and are constantly looking out for insights. How do we enable the organization is where the insights function can actually play a critical role. How do we make sure that every single person in the organization is close to people who we serve is going to be one of the most important tasks for the insights function. If Everybody in the organization thinks that, okay, there is a department called the insights department and they're going to come and tell me what the insight is and then, you know, I will activate that and, you know, I'll be happy forever. It's not going to happen. Uh, this is a collective responsibility and uh, the role of the insights function is actually to enable everybody to really come up with great insights and become really close to people. That's your Research Business Daily Report, sponsored by Instantly, the world's largest audience and insights platform, providing researchers with on-demand access to consumers and insights tools to make faster, better decisions. We invite you and encourage you to visit www.instant.ly. There's no .com to learn more. Now, have a great research day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.